Finally, let's discuss what you will be evaluated on, how you will obtain feedback, and your teaching responsibilities. Remember, we as your attendings are here to support you. Think of us as coaches trying to help you get better. We know that a lot of these concepts are new, uh, so just be engaged, ask questions. We're not looking for perfection. Uh, we want to see improvement and response to feedback. You will be evaluated by at least one hospitalist and by the team members that you work with. Please also remember to fill out the evaluations for all other team members so we can all improve. You will be evaluated in the following areas. The first is overall patient care, including interviewing skills, exam skills, medical knowledge, and documentation. Your evaluation, triage, and management of patients. Your ability to seek feedback and incorporate it into medical practice. Your ability to coordinate care among multiple providers. Discharge planning with appropriate involvement of primary care physicians and consultants. Effective communication skills with families. Effective and efficient teaching skills. Comprehensive, accurate, and timely medical documentation. Professionalism, including team dynamics, willingness to help out, and respecting patient rights and your overall strengths and areas for improvement which will be addressed by both your attending and also your program director at feedback sessions. Feedback is all about open communication. We will do our best to give you daily informal feedback on little things that we notice. Additionally, it helps if you ask us to look at specific skills that you want feedback on before rounds. Now let's take a look at your educational opportunities for your rotation. Um, there is a education calendar posted in the workroom with all of this information. In the morning on Mondays and Thursdays, if census allows, we try to go down to the microbiology lab for microbiology rounds. On Tuesdays, uh, we have our North Shore Grand Rounds from 8 to 9 a.m. in the Women's Hospital. And on Fridays, we invite in a guest lecturer from a pediatrics clinic to give us a lecture on an outpatient topic. In the afternoon from noon to one, Sometimes we are able to broadcast a lecture from the University of Chicago for a le noontime lecture. Otherwise, we can teach ourselves uh, about a topic of our choice. Uh, this session can be led by the attending, the residents, or the medical students. Here are a few quick tips to make your time at North Shore a little easier. Remember, EPIC is linked between all campuses and all PCP offices, so if you're admitting a patient from a different ER or a PCP's office and they have EPIC, you should be able to see all their notes. You can borrow EPIC smart phrases from your attendings or if you have a different EPIC account, you can log in, uh, copy it into Word and then paste it into our EPIC and then you'll have your smart phrases from a different EPIC account. Please use the iPass format when you sign out. If you're not familiar with this format, you can refer to the handout that is uh, a link on the orientation website. If you are present for the medical student HMP, you will be able to attest their notes. If you'd like an example of an attestation, there is one at the end of the orientation handout. Please do this in a thoughtful and timely manner so that the attendings can look at your attestations and give you feedback. When you're done watching the video, please return to the orientation website and read the orientation packet. It has a lot more information on your rotation. And then lastly, you can explore uh, the toolkit for some more resources for your rotation. And that's it. Woohoo! If you have any special requests or any last questions that were not explained here, uh, you can email me at sbokta at gmail.com. Uh, there's also an attached document that goes into all this information in more detail. Welcome to Pediatrics. I hope you laugh a lot, learn a lot, and have a great time.